Let us explore how do we solve 2D height and distance problems in trigonometry. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Here is another video for students to practice and master problem solving strategies based on height and distance. So, in this worksheet, we have multiple choice questions. Such questions are seen in very competitive exams and are very popular in SAT Math 2 also. We will try to give you complete information so that you can always answer similar questions. All these questions are based on height and distance. As you can see, two multiple choice questions are before you. You can read, answer them. Now, some formulae are also given here. Let me explain you. We are looking into the trigonometric ratio sine, cosine and tangent. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan is opposite over adjacent. We will talk about angle of elevation and angle of depression. The angle of elevation is from the ground looking up and angle of depression is from up looking down along the side of line as shown here. I will solve some of the questions, share with you some and provide you answers for every one of them. So, you can actually practice, check your answers. In case you need some help, you can always send an email on the address given. Now, most of the time in height and distance, we might use tan theta. Tangent is the ratio of opposite side to adjacent. So, we written height over d. And so, the height can be found as a product of d times tan theta. In case you need to find the angle, you need to find the inverse of the ratio of height and distance. So, with that basics given, let us now look into the questions. Well, let me share with you all the questions first and then we will again start with their solutions. So, here you can see four questions, perfect. Then the next set of questions are 5 to 8, which are before you. So, eight questions in all to discuss. Let us begin by solving them one by one. The very first question here is angle subtended, angle of depression by the tree top to the person 50 meter away on the road is 30 degrees. Find the angle of elevation from the person to the tree top. Simple as that. So, it is a very basic question where we are given you the subtended angle. So, a term which we are using is angle subtended, which is same as the angle of depression. Now, many questions use these terms which are not familiar with many students and therefore, it is a very important question. So, if the angle of depression is 30, then the angle of elevation should also be 30 and therefore, answer A is correct for it. Perfect. Question number 2. 10 meter long ladder makes an angle of 70 degrees with the vertical wall. So, with the vertical wall, we have a ladder which makes 70 degrees. Find the angle of depression. So, the angle of depression will be 20 degrees, 90 minus 70 as you can very clearly see here. So, C becomes the right option. You can see it is also the angle of elevation. Now, these two problems are just there to give you an idea of how do we work with angle of elevation and depression. But now, you should also try to figure out that if the angle of elevation is given to you in question number 1, how will you find the height of the tree? So, you could actually extend the same question to find the height of the tree. 
where you know the angle of depression is 30 degrees or which will also be the angle of elevation. You see that. So once the question is given to you, it is up to you as to how much you can learn from it. You get the thought as exploring different ways of looking at them and solving them. Right? Similar here also, you can actually find the tangent ratio. You can link the length which is 10 meters given to you with how far is it from the tree trunk, right? You can find this distance or to what height can this ladder go? You see that. We are asking you a very simple question. Some students might think what? Just that? Yes. It is what you see which is very important. Not we are directly asking you, right? Many good students actually find many beautiful questions from the same set of words. Now that is what you need to appreciate, okay? Here is question number three. A tree tilted 10 degrees from the north will have an angle of elevation of what? So in this case, we are not given you a figure. In the previous two cases, we gave you a diagram and made it very simple for you. How do we find the angle of elevation or the angle of depression? But now, we don't have a figure. First thing is, you have to figure out how do we sketch this figure, right? It says, a tree tilted 10 degrees from the north will have angle of elevation of what? So, you need to sketch the diagram now, right? So, let's see. That's your vertical, right? We'll call this as the north. A tree tilted 10 degrees from the north will have angle of elevation of what? So, we'll assume this is tilted 10 degrees, right? Angle of elevation is always from the base, right, horizontal, and therefore it has to be 80 degrees, right, since we know this is 90, right, and therefore we get an angle of 80 degrees. You get the idea. And the next one here is, now why did I tilt it to the right? So tilted from the north, we are checking the bearing angle. So, bearing angle is clockwise from the north. So, when we are looking into these angles, that is what we are interested in. Perfect. Next question here is, find angle of elevation of a balloon shown in the figure from point A, right? So, from point A, which is this point here, the figure is very small, and we have a coordinate point. Let me read this coordinate point, which is 100. The value is 100. 120, right? So, that is the coordinate point of the balloon. We need to find the angle of elevation. So, what will be the angle of elevation? Not from origin, but from A. Well, angle of elevation is going to be same whether it is from A or from origin. And it has to be given by tan ratio. Since the coordinate points are given to us, right? So, we know this tan theta should be equal to change in y over change in x, which is 120 over 100. And therefore, theta will be tan inverse of 120 over 100. And therefore, the answer should be C. It does make sense to you. So, in these four questions, we have just tested the basics about height and distance problems. Perfect. Now, with that in mind, I think you have warmed up to answer some good questions. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Most of my students are doing extremely well. Some are there, right on the top, getting awards and scholarships like Akshat. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. <laughs> Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. 
you can be there. Join our classes and excel. I like you to now pause the video, read the question, answer, and then check with the solutions. Question number five. From a point on the ground, 125 meters from the base of a building. So, this is the base of the building, let's say B. Let's call this point as A, right? From a point on the ground, 125 meters from the base of the building, the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 63 degrees. Let's call this as T. And 63 degrees is given to us. Find the height of the building. Now, in this case, since we have opposite and adjacent, you should be using tangent ratio. And then you can find the answer. Perfect. So, that's not bad, right? And obviously, you can use the formula, which we discussed earlier. Finding height will be distance time tan of theta. Get the area. So, find this. Calculate. So, these are the questions which once you master, you can answer them in less than a minute. And that's what we are preparing you for. Correct. Next question. A flag is hosted on top of a building. From a point on the ground, 25 meters from the base of the building, the angle of elevation to the building is 68 degrees. And the angle of elevation to the top of the flag is 70 degrees, right? Determine the height, Fb, of the flag. Correct. So, we have 68 degrees as the top of the building and 70 degrees is the angle for the flag you need to find the height fb of the flag itself right so now you have to use tangent ratio twice and the difference will give you the answer which is one of these right so you can pause the video do your calculations get the answer perfect question number seven now to find the height of a tree, a person measures 10 meters from the base of the tree and measures an angle of 55 degrees from a point 1.2 meter above the ground. Find the height of the tree. So, most of the time the diagrams are not given to you, but here we have sketched one for you. Try to read the question and see how you should have sketched this diagram. Perfect. And then find the answer and match the perfect solution. Is that clear to you? Okay. The last one here is if tan theta is 15 over 8, write the value of secant theta. Perfect. So, one of these. How will you solve this particular question? Well, when you say tan theta is 15 over 8, it really means what? Well, it means that if this is the angle theta, well, I should have drawn it the other way. 15 is the opposite side which is much greater, right, than 8, right, let's do like this, more realistic, right, so the tan theta is 15 over 8, find the hypotenuse, correct, it seems to be 17 from the choices given to you, right, let's write 17, and of course, it is going to be 15 square plus 8 square square, right, correct, so, what is secant theta? Secant theta, as you know, is 1 over cos theta, right? It is the reciprocal of cos theta. And now I think that should be easy. 17 over 8 would be the answer, right? So option A will be the right answer. Perfect. So that is how you are going to answer these questions. So with that in mind, here are the answers for you to check. You see that? So, once you've done all these questions, you can check your answers. So, I hope with this, you understand how do we apply tangent ratio in height and distance questions to solve. Find height or the distance or the angle. I'll appreciate if you could actually look at these questions from different angles and get more out of the same questions. Also, check other videos in this playlist. Thanks for your time and all the best.